With your weather bug forecast from coast to coast, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. We take you up to Minnetonka, Minnesota, and we check out the view here from yesterday, looking like a beautiful spring day. Of course, yesterday was the first full day of spring. Well, today, as we wrap up the day, it may be a very different scene here, as portions of Minnesota will be turning into a winter wonderland, Minnetonka included. In fact, this just west of the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, where heavy snow is expected with winter winter weather advisory in effect with snowfall totals upwards of three to six inches, which may end up being the largest snowfall that we've had yet this year and this season. So keeping an eye on that system, checking out what's going on with the bigger picture here. We have an area of low pressure coming out of Canada that's diving southward across the upper Midwest, spreading snow from Minnesota all the way down through Wisconsin, northern Illinois, Chicago could be off to a very messy start as that snow makes its way southward late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So definitely allow for plenty of extra time as you're headed back to work. Further south, the weather pattern is a little more spring-like. Showers, thunderstorms, some of which may even be on the strong side, will be impacting the Gulf Coast states. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas dealing with heavy rain as we set our forecast into motion. That moisture gradually shifts eastward, but uh, plentiful amounts of rain will be included with those storms as they gradually wind down into early next week. So sandwiched right in between throughout the Ohio River Valley sits slightly cooler air compared to where we were yesterday. 66, that's the cool spot in Dallas today. Uh, 64 up in St. Louis and a little bit drier conditions across the Northeast. 39 is where we'll make it up to in New York. The wet weather continues in the Pacific Northwest with a high of 55 in Seattle.